who doesn't know Sotheby, Sotheby's Finest is um, a novel based in Sotheby in the 90s. Uh, and it's just these three families who find themselves in an estate called Malaba Estate. Uh, and just their lives and their secrets and how their lives converge and they become more than friends and they become family. So the passage I'm going to read is just the introduction to Malaba Estate um, and just giving you a picture of what it looks like so as we're talking about it, you can picture it in your minds. Also, if, can you all hear me? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, so this is from chapter three. New neighbors in Malaba Estate were treated like curios. Their lives prior to Malaba, a puzzle that the incumbent residents enjoyed assembling until it was a, as complete as possible. Seldom did a stranger move into the estate. Perhaps Mama Sally referred one of her friends, or maybe the referral came from the Shahs, who'd already, brought, who'd already bought three houses next to each other, knocked down the walls in between the houses, and built hallways connecting them. A neighbor would hear that so-and-so's friend had moved into house 32, and from this, one could reasonably deduce that if the new resident was so-and-so's friend, and it was clear so-and-so was of questionable character, then it only stood to reason that the new resident was also highly suspect, a judgment that held until such a time as such and such proved they were not. There were allies and enemies in peace treaties over tea, intermarriages, deaths and divorces, playground fights, tribal wars, harambes, all-night prayer meetings, dowry celebrations. In short, Malaba was a city unto itself. A fine one at that. It was a clean little estate on 20 acres that housed 57 three-bedroom maisonettes. To get there, you'd take the number 11 Matatu at the Gill House bus stop in town. At the time, they were the loudest matatus, the graffiti on their bodies, political satire meets pop culture meets animated cartoon characters, the most elaborated, elaborate, and their makanda is the politest on any route in Nairobi. Malaba Estate was within the South Bay area, a 20 shilling ride from Gill House. Each of the Malaba houses sat in the middle of an eighth of an acre plot with squat identical black gates. At the center of the estate was a community center come shopping complex that never quite took off and a large ovalish field with a balding brown spot in the middle where grass refused to grow. At the shopping center, there were, at different times, a hair salon, a video store with a Sega Nintendo you could rent for an hour at a time, a supermarket, a gym, a restaurant, and one or two other entrepreneurial ventures, most of which were owned, operated, and bankrupted by Mrs. Mutiso. Within <laughs> the estate walls, it felt as if time moved irresponsibly slow, until, of course, it sped up and moved recklessly fast. 